Oh, no. I see they're letting just anybody in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Just <laughs> What is up? This is your co-commish, commish to the assistant regional commish, whatever the heck you want to call it. Whatever the f you want to call it. Um, this is week 16. It's getting real. Semifinal week. We are here. We are ready. And last week was a complete disaster. Oh, God! Um, speaking from experience and having to go through the hell that was week 15. All right. Held back tears. I don't think I've ever seen a worse week. I mean, this was week 14 in all of its glory. Oh, just bumped up another week. And throw in the COVID on top of that, um, it was incredibly difficult. Um, so obviously I'm speaking out of uh, the place of losing to Mr. Bill, who is the new hotness apparently in our league. Uh, so congratulations to you, Bill. Congratulations, Farley. Uh, I really thought John was gonna come through and knock you out, <laughs> um, but it didn't look like that happened. So uh, yeah, it was a crazy week, crazy week. Looking back at the whole post-mortem of just my team in general, um, as I've obviously analyzed it in my head a lot, um, some of my draft picks didn't hit. You know, draft was a little crazy. It was just not super ideal. Um, and some of the guys I picked, you know, they hit for a while and they hit at certain times, but not when I needed them to. Curse is broken, people! Let's jump into it. We've got uh, our quarterfinal situation. That bye week, my God, you're gonna die for that bye week next year, especially if COVID is, you know, as much as a thing as it is now, I'm sure that uh, you're gonna want that. So going into the semifinal, we got Blue Claws, David against Bill, densely populated. And then we've got Brett against Chris, Jerry Jones, and for a title versus Seabass and the boys. Kick his ass, Seabass! So, uh, first matchup, obviously, we have the fifth place, third place pick next year in the draft, which I greatly want. So, we've got myself versus John. I am ahead right now. John, I don't know if you're still paying attention at this point, but I would still play because you're playing for a pick next year and it's going to matter. I'm not going seven and nine or eight and eight. So please don't leave your COVID-19 guys in there. Don't, you know, don't forget about the season. It's still going um, and we're still playing for something. So please, this is my PSA to you. Just please go and uh, set your lineups accordingly. Trying to stay upright and he trips. So we've got Russell Wilson, Jackson, Keenan Allen, Johnson, Gage. Uh, Gage was a, a, a little dart throw here. He's been really good over the last week and playing Detroit. So honestly, I think, you know, what better to do here? Um, again, I said Okawebenam at tight end because he could just get peppered a ton. Um, if Kelsey's in, obviously I'll play him, but I don't know at this point. Connor, um, you know, it's a tough, tough defense there. I don't know how he's going to fare, but I think he's a better situation. Um, looking at the bench players, you know, I've got Sonny Michelle, Van Jefferson, Herbert, which is really just a stash to see if he becomes a lead back or something. Um, you know, you never know in the offseason what could happen. Perryman, uh, which I would like to probably play in a flex if I know that he is going to be back. Um, and then Eckler's out and Tony is still on the COVID list. He's just done. Yeah, so those are my side. Those are my guys on my side. I'm not really expecting um, ceiling games from either guy, Russell and Jackson. Uh, Jackson may not even play, which means I have to go grab another quarterback. And, you know, at this point, I'm just scraping the barrel. Yeah, that's right. So on John's side, we got Ryan Tannehill, Mac Jones. Tannehill sucks. I'm sorry. Um, he may have a good night tonight uh, now that he's got A.J. Brown back, but he's just not been great this year. Mac Jones against Buffalo. Um, didn't have to do much the last time around, so we'll see. Uh, Beasley's out on COVID, so I assume you're going to throw in uh, everybody else's pretty much on dead on your team. And then uh, Christian Kirk should be a good play. DJ Moore, fine. Uh, Aaron Jones, I think it's an Aaron Jones week. Penny, definitely don't think that's a good play. He's been pretty crappy and definitely bombed last week. Yeah, play those two tight ends, man. I love John Warner's tight ends. I don't see anything better. So looking at this, um, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume 
that this week is going to be rough for me um, and that unless I hit some ceiling plays, I have a feeling I might lose this game. Um, I'm doing the best I can to try, but uh, John could seriously beat me unless he just doesn't play this week, which PSA again, please um, make sure that you set your lineup, John. So I'm going with John to win this one as the underdog because I don't trust my team anymore. You cheated on me? When I specifically asked you no. not to? I really just feel like they don't want to play anymore. All right, moving on. So we're going to go to the next game. We've got Bill versus David on David's side. Uh, we've got Josh Allen and Dak Prescott. Josh Allen's been super solid. Uh, Dak Prescott has been questionable. Um, however, Bill has Herbert, who has he's been pretty good lately. Um, Huntley, yeah, he's a zero right now because of Lamar may come back to play, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to drop Lamar so you can pick him up. That's clever. Uh, nor will he put up more than five points anyway. So, yeah, if Huntley plays great, if he doesn't, I'm really concerned for Bill. He's going to have to roll with Carr against Denver. Ugh. Or he's going to have to roll with... Oh, big golf, son! Huh? Goff. I guess that's why he picked up Goff. So, yeah, that's not something you want in your semifinal week. I'm very fast. Definitely not good. And then Jamar Chase, CeeDee Lamb. We got an empty wide receiver spot, which I'm guessing KJ Osborne will fill. Um, Lockett, if he's back. Lockett may be back, and that may be your best play there. Obviously, he's looking um, for a player. Um, on Bill's side, Pittman and Cup. I mean, Cup is just insane. So, like, Cup could win the week for Bill. I have to talk about my fantasy football team to who to start this week because I'm really flummoxed. Okay, let's uh, let's take it one step at a time. Let us get to your fantasy football team. First of all, what is it called? Uh, Cup my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Parker, I mean, Parker was a solid play last week. Um, again, you know, he'll get Lattimore this week, I think. But at this point, you know, he's he's your best bet on that team. And Beckham, yeah. I don't know. Last time uh, against Minnesota, it was good for Beckham. So I think you can hold on to hope there. And then that Dallas defense has just been solid. So you honestly, that, that defense may, defense wins championships. That may, that may win you the week. So then we got Deontay Foreman. Um... Amir Abdullah. I don't like these running backs, man. That sucks. And then Eli's probably out. Uh, and you still got Jeff Wilson Jr. on your side, Bill. So maybe play him tonight against Tennessee. I don't know. That's that's a tough call. Uh, we got Madison, who's off the COVID protocols. Yeah, that's right. He lost Cook today. So because of COVID-19, man, it just sucks. It's really making things hard. And then you got Samaj P. Ryan as well. <laughs> you know, who may be good if Mixon's out. Not great, though. Not great, David. I'm not looking forward to... Uh... I feel bad for you, man. I think this has been your year for most of it, and COVID's just wrecked it. I mean, honestly, I look at this, and I think the only best, the only good plays on David's side is Josh Allen, C.D. Lamb, Chase, maybe, depending on how Burrow comes out. Uh, no, no. But we're gay for baseball. Mm, yeah, I don't know, man. You're, you're struggling there. Um, Bill has a good team and he's gonna throw golf in there and get you 15 points you get 30 from herbert jefferson cup my ball <laughs> Pittman, gibson yeah i think i don't know man um looking at this now i think bill's gonna win i think bill's gonna win i think that defense is gonna propel him the dallas defense will take bill to the championship against the dallas fan wonderful i love it um that's pretty cool and i know it's a 50 50 game uh with david not having a wide receiver in there but i like bill's chances like i've said uh, bill's my dark horse he will be my dark horse all year long uh, even before he beat me even though i'm supposed to win that movie. moving on here we have the next matchup it's chris versus uh farley and so we've got a 51 to 49 percent split in favor of Brett. I think this is the game of the week, clearly. Um, Chris has huge potential, and I still think has the team that can get it done and knock Farley off. Um, we've seen some struggles lately from Brady. We've seen some struggles uh, from Diggs through, uh, throughout the season. Um, T. Higgins, you know, he's been solid. He's been great. But, you know, with Burrow's struggles, he may struggle as well. 
Um, I like Amon Ra. It's a good pick. Uh, pick up last week. Um, honestly, Jonathan Taylor against Arizona. I love it. I think that it's going to be solid, and I think that he's going to continue to get his, along with freaking best tight end this year, Mark Andrews. And, and I thought that he probably would be. Um, didn't have the balls to go after it and really have the knowledge to go after it until the season kind of progressed and you looked at his target totals. Um, so, yeah, he's been just great, and obviously with Huntley even better because he's just force-fed the ball. Now, Huntley's not going to be here this week, so maybe he won't get it as much, um, but Lamar's always looking for him, and he's the main target. Just like Mooney, he's the main target, too, um, for – uh, Justin Fields, you know, their struggling offense, though, may may cap his his upside there. Um, Waddle's back. I think that's a great play. Uh, obviously, to his favorite. There's a big theme here. He's got favorites, you know, the favorite players of every team. And Kansas City defense, I think, you know, they've been a solid defense. They definitely should get a pick uh, or maybe a pick six against Big Ben. And then on the other side, we've got Patrick Mahomes. I think he's you know, doing enough to get it done to win games. I don't know how it's going to be, you know, just I, I'm not sure how it's going to fare in terms of uh, fantasy points, but he's been getting better as the years progress and as they get close to the playoffs. Hertz has been the Mahomes of this year in some ways with fantasy points. I mean, his rushing upside is amazing. Um, you know, I think he broke the touchdown, rushing touchdown record, broke Vic's record in uh, Philly. So that's been great. I think two great quarterback plays there against two great quarterback plays on on Farley's side. Um, I'm going to call it a wash, honestly. Uh, I think that, that they both have a lot of potential to perform big. And then we've got Debo Samuel, who's been just consistent and solid. I think he's going to continue to get more tonight. Um, we've got Hollywood Brown, who if Lamar is back, he should be getting. He's still getting the target totals. He should be good. Antonio Brown, this is a big one. That's a huge pickup. If he's back and he's playing and he's healthy, I um, think he's going to just have a massive game, and I think everyone thinks that and knows that. Um, so assuming that he plays, I think that's really good going against Carolina. You've got Gilmore. Um, Gilmore might have gotten injured last game. I don't remember. Then we got Kamara. Obviously, his upside is limited, but now if you're going to have Ian What's-His-Face, um, I think Kamara's going to have to be the checkdown guy, right? So great play, solid play there. It's a Monday night game against Miami. I like it. Um, and then we got Javante. Javante's been super solid. Great pick in the draft. Held him all year. Um, you know, him and Gordon are sharing it. And I think as long as he uh, just continues to get the carries, as long as that offense runs the way it is. Now with Drew Locke. Drew Locke <laughs> and his irresponsible ways on the football field. Isn't that field. the best way to put Let's just keep that narrative going. Drew Locke is irresponsible. Oh, he's super irresponsible. <laughs> he is irresponsible with the football. Who he didn't flush the toilet? It was Drew Locke. Drew Locke. Drew, Drew Locke didn't flush. Drew Locke has never once put the milk back in the fridge. Not one time in his or life. The, nor the lid. Oh, the lid is over and on the other And he left the door open. <laughs> You're darn right. Now, with Drew Locke under there, maybe they won't run as much, but I still feel like, you know, if Fangio's running the team, they want to run the ball. Patrick or Pat Shermer wants to run the ball, and that's what they do. So... You know, it is what it is. Dawson Knox is a good play. Uh, hasn't been as productive as of late, I don't believe. Yeah, he's he's kind of up and down. Uh, so the last time that they played New England, 340. Wasn't great, but that was a terrible weather game. They threw the ball like three times. Going back inside. Yeah, it's it is freaking cold out here. Um, Barkley on the rise. Good. Swift. If he plays, great. If he doesn't play, then, you know, you'll have to probably look at an option. Uh, you have a flex play. You can put Jacoby Myers in there for 15 points. You could get Naheem Hines, who you just picked up. Uh, Elijah Moore is on COVID, but he may come back this week. Do you know COVID? I thought he was also IR for... When I was a teenager, I was in an iron low. Yeah, quad IR. Expect him to return for the last two games of the year. So, hey, there you go. Um, so he wouldn't be back this week. But, yeah, I think it's a solid uh, solid matchup here. I, I think um, on Farley's side, I don't like Ezekiel Elliott, but, you know, he's going to get the carries. He's going to get you hopefully 15, 20 points, enough to get it done. Um, the question here, I think, is how is Brady fair against another division rival? How does Patrick Mahomes fare in terms of fantasy points overall? Um, I think... He's got a lot of good upside plays. He's got a lot of good upside plays as well. Um, Kamara, you know, assuming he has a good game, I like to hinge on that. I think 
hinging on the Antonio Brown play as well um, should be solid. Uh, like the defense, I think the defenses are evenly matched. And that's really hard to pick a winner on this one. Um, I think it is so close. The glitter is blinding. But I like the upside that Chris has in some of the more key positions. You know what? I'm going to pick Brett. I think Chris has done really well, and I think he definitely could easily go to the championship, but I don't know, man. Gun to my head, I think Brett's got the juice, and uh, as long as it's not a crazy week like last week, I think it could happen. So so you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Uh, yeah. So there you have it. Week 16 in the books, at least the predictions. Uh, we'll see how that turns out, uh, see if anything I said was correct or if everyone's going to have COVID by tomorrow or tonight. Tonight's the Titans and San Francisco game. That should give Chris a good barometer of where he's going to be. But, you know, at this point, it's going to come down to the wire. It's going to come down to that Monday night game. Anyways, so that's my picks. I pick John to beat me. I pick Brett to beat Chris in the game of the week. And I pick Bill to upset David based off of just everything that's going on right now in that space. So um, it should be a crazy good week 16, or it might suck as much as week 15 or worse. And the game's over, seconds later. Um, time will tell, news is gonna roll, and it's gonna be interesting to see where we're at come Saturday. Hope everyone has a Merry Christmas, a great Christmas Eve, have a great week 16, and we'll see you on the other side. Catch you guys on the flippity flip.